everyone today I thought I would do a quick first impression it's Saturday and I'm going into town and probably seeing friends later I don't know so I thought I would do makeup today and I figured I might as well finally try out the hourglass vanish foundation that I've been promising to try I'm sorry if I sound just so uninterested in the beginning I'm actually not I'm just very very tired at the start of this clip I had a sleep in I just woke up had a shower and started filming for you guys and I'm like wow Shannon at least pretend to be enthusiastic you'll see me perk up a lot in the first update don't worry. <laughs> Lately, a lot of the time, like I'm going to the gym midday, and like all of these different things. So like, it never really works out for me to do a first impression. So perfect timing. So this is already out in New Zealand. This goes for ninety six dollars. <laughs> R.I.P. But of course, you can get it elsewhere. So yeah, I'm gonna read you what it says on the press release. You can get it at Mecca or if you live in the States or the UK and stuff, I'll put links down below for you. So what it is, is a Vanish Seamless Liquid Foundation. And there's also a brush in here that I'll try applying it with. This highly concentrated liquid foundation from Hourglass is designed to deliver instant full coverage with just half a pump. We'll see, because you guys know how much foundation I love to use all over my face, like 80 pumps. The innovative weightless formula applies like a second skin, creating a smooth and Flawless complexion with a radiant satin finish. I love the sound of that because I love radiant and satin finishes. I don't like anything too matte. Formulated with light refracting microspheres to blur and create a soft focus complexion, the fade proof 24 hour long wear formula lasts all day and is waterproof, transfer proof, and sweat proof. So we're gonna put that to the test. It says it is available in 32 shades to perfectly match every skin tone. It is vegan and cruelty free. I don't know what the shade range looks like. There's like a little picture just here, which looks like a really like pale, pale shade. There's some deeper shades. I don't know. I haven't seen them with my own eyes. It says no primer is needed, but we'll still do my normal thing where I prime half my face. Half a pump, dot onto your face and blend using the brush. That's it. So we're gonna do just that. I'm very skeptical, needless to say, cause like, I said I use so much foundation on a daily basis like I use so much foundation and I'm proud comment below if you are too like I'm like boom 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 three pumps straight in there sometimes it's too much sometimes I add some more I don't know I don't care so they sent me three different shades plus the foundation brush I'm quite sure what kind of shade I'm gonna need today I love the bottle first of all it is heavy so not very travel friendly but it's very luxe feeling it's like a glass and it's got this curved edge like it's a very cool shape you get how many mil 25 mil which is actually less than normal but if you only need half a pump it'll last forever this is what the little brush looks like and i think this runs for like 70 something dollars 79 dollars Woo, for a brush Woo. i mean what is like why is this 79 dollars tell me that i don't understand so i'm gonna go in with half primer i've only got my moisturizer on like from after i had a shower and everything today this here is the covergirl true blend base business skin primer skin smoothing and i'm just gonna do a little backwards three wait is that a backwards three or an egg no that's an egg wait i don't know i've got like this massive pimple brewing right next to my lip and it hurts like literally like if i go like that it's like pain in my face oh they're the worst my skin is feeling quite dehydrated today i'm not quite sure why like the weather has changed really dramatically it's like freezing lately since yesterday <laughs> so i don't know if there's got anything to do with it but anyway I'm just gonna do a little swatch so that color straight away looks pretty good because i have some fade tan on but like you know not a ton i feel like that's a really good color for that so that is lemon and I will swatch the other two for you as well even though this is going to take eight years because oh no that one's quick. This shade is called natural and that one just looks a little bit more like orangey warm toned whereas this first one I pumped out looks a little bit more olive like it looks more like my kind of undertone not like I'm an olive undertone but like the tan or whatever. And then this final one you can see straight away is going to be a bit too dark for me. This is in the shade golden and this I think would be even too rich for me um, with a tan on. So we're definitely going to go with the palest color. So let's dive on in. Half a pump they reckon. So I'm gonna do a, I think that's about half a pump. And then I'm gonna dot it around my face. I'm so skeptical of this. And then it says use the brush to blend. So I'll start on the unprimed side. Oh, it was actually going pretty far. Ow, 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 that hurts so much over that breakout. Holy crap. I feel like you're not getting a full coverage this method it's just me i'm definitely going to be using some more because this is not my vibe i don't know about you guys but like patchy no nah. i'm gonna do a half pump just on this side and i'm just gonna like dot it out i feel like with a sponge i'm just like a sponge lover 
probably gonna go cakey now and then I'll be like oh it's such a cakey foundation when it literally says not to use that much but I just don't like this look so it doesn't really matter like I'm gonna apply it to get the effect I want if you know what I mean so we're just gonna go with it down my neck as well it looks real nice <laughs> okay it's looking good so that's on the prime side it applies beautifully like I would expect for that kind of price Thank you. I'm just like literally brushing it onto my neck because my neck is not fake tanned anymore. My neck fake tan always fades like fastest. Is anyone else like that? I guess because I would like wash it with my face. But anyway, I don't know why I'm babbling on about that. So I'm taking like another half pump on the unprimed side and I'm just blending that all over the same way. I'm kind of like buffing and padding and doing all sorts of crap with the brush. The brush works really well. Is it worth the money? Hell no, you could probably get a different brush that's the same for much cheaper. I know you can. Well, it looks beautiful. Like, I love the glow. It looks very smooth, it looks filtered, it doesn't look like chunky or anything. I feel like Hourglass's colors always look a little bit funny on me, but like, it's not bad. It's actually probably slightly too dark, like I might need a bit more fake tan with this color, but like it's not the worst. I always thought that with the other Vanish foundation sticks so I just don't think they've really got the perfect undertone for my personal skin but I have a very dry crusty nose right now and it still looks pretty decent but we'll keep an eye on that throughout the rest of the day in case it does start to cling to anything. It does look very flawless. I think half a pump is a yarn. I probably used about two and a half pumps total but I also put it down my neck. Yeah I like it. It still looks like skin. Looks like really good coverage because um, I built it up but it still looks like skin you can still see a little bit of freckles and stuff and the actual like finish still looks like skin it's not super heavy like well it's a bit heavy but how am I trying to say it? it's not like dull or cakey cake I don't know how to describe it like it's still got that natural kind of glow to it like has that skin finish just like very perfect like it doesn't look like I'm not wearing makeup but it doesn't look like I'm wearing a shit ton either I don't know so I'm just going to finish all of my products and then I'll come back, we'll do a flash test. Um, it's 10 in the morning, so we'll see how it goes. Okay guys, so my lash glow is still drying. The flash test like looks pretty freaking smooth and good. Um, so that's good. I'm just gonna continue about my day. I'll pop back in every now and then and show you guys how it's been wearing. So yeah, this is how my makeup looks done. Like I said, my lashes are still like sticking on right now. Those are the Chic by Exo Beauty. This is Harikoa by Exo Beauty. I've got um, a MAC highlighter, what's it called? I know people will ask, <clears throat> my voice is vanishing. Ugh, I need some water. Beaming blush, extra dimension skin finish. MAC contour kit, benefit brows. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Hello guys, so it is now 2 p.m. Four hours in, I think. See, now I've woken up. So the only thing I've noticed, okay, I've got a little bit of fading around my mouth because I literally just had a bunless burger. And if you eat bunless burgers, like lettuce wrap burgers, you know, they're pretty freaking messy. So there's like a little bit of um, removal. Oh, my lipstick did this. It always happens to me. I'm just going to use whatever's on the brush to kind of attempt to cover it up. I think that kind of worked. So that's like not the foundation or anything. Um, it hasn't really changed. Hamish did say the color was really weird and I agree. Like it's definitely a little bit too dark. Do you guys reckon I should try the more orangey toned one? What one was it called? Natural? Um, in like a future video if I do like the formula I might try this color because even though it was more like orangey like who knows once it's blended out it could be okay or it could be a disaster. I'm not too sure. Yeah I think if I had a fresh effect tan on it would look a lot better but because it's kind of faded this was like the lightest color as well and it's just a little bit like funny. I do notice that it's a little bit cakey right on this area, which is where I actually put it on. Like, so I don't think I blended it out enough. You definitely have to blend it well, otherwise it can kind of collect and look cakey. It's one of those ones where I think less is more, but at the same time, like, I didn't like how it looked with half a pump. So I feel like I would be able to reach a happy in between of like how much I use today, like a little bit less than this. Um, and maybe even with a sponge because I could actually like share it out a little bit while still maintaining that good coverage. I just really like sponges for heavier foundations like this because I feel like it stops it from like collecting in one space whereas brushes like sometimes you think you've done it but there's like a little bit of a thicker layer whereas sponges like you know it's very even. I like fix my lipstick now because it looks like awkward. I love this lip color. I don't know why I don't wear it more often like I always forget about it. So yeah that's like basically it. Just this spot right here is a little bit cakey. This is on the prime side. Prime versus unprime. Like yeah I don't think you really need a primer with this. I am just looking at all of my congestion on my chin where I've got like a little bit of flaky dry skin and I feel like 
it's starting to kind of grip to it but we'll continue wearing it throughout the day and just see if it gets worse or not. And I feel like there's like this one wrinkle, I've got this like main wrinkle, I feel like it's kind of sunk into it a little bit but it's not very bad but I'll watch it to see if it gets worse, you know what I mean. So um, I'll come back in a few more hours and then I'm just going to keep wearing it until like midnight or so so that, you know, I wore it for as long as possible because it says 24 hour wear. Why is, oh, I was wearing cheap shitty earrings and look at that, it's like left green on my ear. Very attractive. Hey guys, I thought I would do another update in the somewhat natural lighting. I've got my fake lights on but it's like not pitch black outside. It is 6.30 p.m. It kind of just looks the same as last time. It's wearing pretty well. The biggest you know like issue for me right now is definitely just like the color but obviously if you color matching yourself hopefully you'll be able to get it right it's starting to look a little bit shiny right around the edges of my nose but it's not too bad um other than that it looks the exact same as last time it doesn't look any more cakey it hasn't sunken in anywhere anymore i feel like it's starting to look a tiny bit shiny right between my eyebrows which is strange yeah that's the only change so once again i'll be back soon hey guys so it is now midnight so that's 14 hours this is how it looks honestly I feel like it hasn't changed much at all the rest of the day. The only change, oh my god, I've got like crumbs on my lip. I just made some cookies. The only change is it's a little bit shiny in my forehead. So if I just take my powder brush that I used today, literally, I reckon I can just mattify it. Yep. It's a little bit hard for you guys to see because of my artificial lighting. It makes me look more shiny than normal. Um, that's like the only change. I feel like it may have started melting a little bit more around my nose, like just oil wise but you can just mattify that doesn't look any cakey it hasn't faded yeah so i do like the wear of it i do think i will continue to experiment with it with the different shade i yeah i just don't really like this color unless like i said i've got a bit more fake tan on then it could possibly work it's not blowing me away some people said it's like their holy grail but it's not blowing me away i don't think it's terrible at all i don't think it's bad at all it's just like it's okay you know so in conclusion i do think this foundation would be good for maybe people with slightly more mature skin because it is super hydrating i think like the fact that i still get a little bit shiny i think you know shows it's quite hydrated did say it was a hydrating formula is it weightless like, i definitely feel like it's quite weightless it doesn't feel heavy like it looks a little bit heavy in a couple places like i said but i think that's because i didn't blend it out enough and i use quite a lot they're gonna be pretty good for like not just mature skin but honestly it started like sinking into that one wrinkle a little bit but that was it like it's really not that bad. I would love to try this foundation on my mum because I feel like this is the kind of look she would like. Um, especially with a bit less product so it's not so heavy. But it just doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't necessarily look heavy. And it's a really beautiful finish as well. So I feel like a lot of people would really like it. So yeah, definitely makes you smooth, flawless and radiant. And I would like to try it with a sponge with setting spray and everything just to see how it looks that way. Like it does look very smooth. It hasn't faded on my redness area like a lot do. So that's good. I do like it. I think I like it more than the stick foundation. So that's a positive. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Have you tried it yet? Have you not? Will you be trying it? Will you not try it? Hey guys, it's me again. I just had like this crazy full face of makeup on that looked really ridiculous so i've just washed it off because i'm going to the gym soon um so i've got a little bit pink that's why i just wanted to pop on here though and give you guys a little update because i have since worn it the product again let me know if you like this or if you hate this i've never done this <laughs> basically i wore the um foundation again today i mixed the color that I didn't use with the color I used in this video. So the more orange one and the more like greenish olive undertoned one. And I feel like it matched a lot better with the mix together, which is random. But hey, whatever works, right? And I also applied it using my Flawless Finish Sponge. And I definitely prefer it with a sponge. Just because I was able to use a lesser amount, surprisingly, than the brush. And it applied in like a very even, thinner layer. So it didn't look cakey. It didn't go cakey. It didn't cling anywhere. It just looked overall like much better. So I would definitely recommend that technique. And you might see me doing that again. And you will see me doing it again in my upcoming yellow look from my rainbow series that's where I mix them together so keep an eye out for that video to see it in action I give you another update in that video as I apply it but I just wanted to come on here and say I think the biggest issue I have was 
you know, using that brush to apply it. Like, I just didn't really like it. And I do like brushes for foundation, but I think because it's such a pigment heavy foundation, it just had a tendency to stick onto the little areas if you didn't properly blend it. So a sponge just helps to like really even it out and create a very even layer all over the surface of the skin. And then the issue of the color, like obviously it's so hard to review a foundation when the color doesn't look perfect, but I had to work with what I had. Um, so I wish I mixed them from the get go, but I didn't really think about it. Once the color actually matched me as well, like yeah, I really loved the way my skin looked and it definitely did not look as heavy as in this video. So I like the foundation. I'm still not like obsessed with it. Um, if any of you guys are experts with you know, hourglass. What kind of color should I be getting? I always struggle with hourglass foundation, like undertones for my skin. Like they just never seem to look quite right. So yeah, I would love to just be able to get one shade and not have to mix them all together. Don't forget to thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. I would really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and notify. I upload two to three videos every single week and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye. <laughs>